In the glamorous world of historical portrait painting, Ross Roberts was the one they called the best. His talents made him the darling of the fine art jet set, cavorting with the likes of Bob Ross, Chuck Close, and Willie Nelson. Anything he painted became instantly priceless, but Ross Roberts was about to find out that some portraits are better left unpainted. My God, I've done it. I've painted the perfect portrait of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Rachel, come. You must see. Who is it supposed to be? It's clearly a portrait of our 16th president, Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Honey, you know I love you, but this doesn't look anything like Lincoln. I mean at all. Maybe you've put a top hat on him? Mm. Leave me. She doesn't know what she's talking about. You're perfect. Aren't you? Lincoln, Abe Lincoln, Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Ross, honey, will you come to bed, please? You haven't slept in days. I've painted the perfect portrait of Abraham Lincoln, and no one will believe me, not even my domestic partner. Is that what we are? You haven't even touched me since you painted this, this monstrosity. I hereby proclaim my emancipation from this relationship. FYI, that means I'm breaking up with Whatever. Rachel, are you familiar with the details of our 16th president's assassination? What? No. Well, that's something we should remedy, shan't we? Phoebe? No, 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 Phoebe. Phoebe, come in. I have something I'd like to show you. I don't know what to do. He's obsessed with this painting. He won't sleep, he won't eat, he's bottling his own urine and feces. You must come talk to him. I know you're not his friend, Chandler, but you're his art agent. Please hurry, I'm afraid he's gonna do something terrible. Who are you talking to? The American History Museum? You know, I've sent them exactly four score and seven emails and they haven't responded to one. Are you sabotaging me? Ross, please. Why do you forsake our greatest president? Are you pro-slavery? You need help. I know you've hidden all my five dollar bills, bitch. Hmm? Well, that was boring. Welcome to the theater, Mr. Lincoln. Hmm? Now, don't go anywhere. You're gonna love the second act. Ross, my liege, you simply must show me this painting. You're in such a tizzy about. Please tell me you have something to sell. I need to feed the monkey, you know. <laughs> That's not a euphemism. I have a monkey and they're not inexpensive to feed. Now fix me a glass of that 40 year old scotch I know you have in the kitchen and meet me in the gallery. Chop chop. You see, these brush strokes here are beautiful, but these brush strokes over here are equally as beautiful. I think this is your worst work ever. I feel the pain of how bad this is. I wish you would have painted one of the gorgeous Kennedy boys rather than this monstrosity, which isn't even Lincoln, it's Lurch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go upstairs and draw a hot bath. Please send up Phoebe. 
I'm going to need a thorough scrubbing. fate of the non-believers should be the same as Lincoln himself. Come on! What do you want? Uh, hi, I'm uh, Officer Joey. Uh, how you doing? Say, uh, we received some complaints to the American History Museum. American History Museum? You've been in contact? Yeah, yeah. They've received some rather threatening emails from an R. Robert 666. You don't know anything about that, would you? It's pretty creepy stuff. Creepy? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, if it's all the same, I'd still like to come in and take a look around and make sure everything's all right. This is a pretty inconvenient time, but if you must. You uh, wouldn't have anything to wash this down with, would you? I have Ovaltine. Perfect. All right. Um, you may want to just stay on the main floor. I have pets. Abraham Lincoln, right? That's pretty good. Yes, it is Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president. Good eye, sir. Mm -mm, if I may, you see, these brush strokes here are beautiful. Ross! So Lincoln, beard of bees on Lincoln. Oh, two Abraham Lincolns on a teeter totter. Doc Monica, what's crapping in? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt, but real quick, got a little case of the munchies. Need some change for the vending machine, but all I got is a five dollar bill. No, Lincoln. <sighs> Abraham Lincoln. Where did it end and been your day? 